have like yeah. you know I listened to Green Day when I was like my first like it was in ninth grade and Green Day came out with, with Dookie the album it was like one of the most amazing punk rock albums yeah. though you know but my dad's like oh you like that you should listen to Jimi Hendrix and then from that on I was like oh man <laughs> Jimi Hendrix this is amazing you know yeah. I, I never went back from there on I went to like Santana and then like Zeppelin and then all that stuff but then you know on the other the other side of that um i love jazz music as well and i love classical music as well so yeah i actually naima was my favorite winner from america's next top model and um i was doing some modeling then and i was given my dog um and we were thinking of a name for her and um i'm like i want to do something with modeling and you were my favorite model, um, and I'm like, Naima, like, she's beautiful, she's pretty like her, and it, and I hope it didn't offend you, but knowing that something that's so special to my heart, just like that song was to your parents, I named my special thing after, and her name is Naima too. I, I love her, you know, she's amazing to me. Well, I can say I'm flattered. <laughs> it's I, not a bad thing. No, it's not. I used to be one of those people that are just like, oh my god, that lady kisses her dog, you know? <laughs> and like, these people take their dogs everywhere, and I was like, what, what's wrong with these people? But I recently got a cat, who I'm in love with, yeah. and they, you know, they really do become some of your best friends. Yeah. So... She is my best friend. That's really nice, and yeah. I'm flattered for that. <laughs> Good. So, what is your band? It's named Galaxy of Tar. Mm -hmm. um, is there a meaning behind the name of Galaxy of Tar? What? <laughs> yeah, like why'd you select that? Uh, yeah, everybody asks that question. Um, there, there, uh, we got, we did get the name, Elias, um, who started the band with me. He and I were working together a while before we started working with the uh, other two musicians we work with now. We were writing a lot of music. Uh, before we actually presented it to new musicians as well. And we were coming up with um, names for actually an album that we were working on with our previous band. And he actually came up with the name Galaxy Tar. Yeah. And I think it's really cool. I won't say how he came up with the name because I like <laughs> the mystery behind it. Yeah. But, you know, I think it can, I think it means a lot yeah. on a lot of different levels. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to your music is something different. It's not cheesy, it's not pop, you know, where the lyrics repeat themselves over and over and over again. Um, I actually, from your website, I read the lyrics to all of your songs and they're extremely deep lyrics. They're not just, like I said, something that goes over and over again. Um, what inspires you? to write the music or the lyrics behind your voice in your band? Well, I'm glad you asked me that question. Okay. Um, I, went to, I went to school for creative writing. I went to college for creative writing. And I love poetry. And I love uh, language and what it does for people. It adds a, um, a tool to communicate. And I think that we should use it for, for that and, and use it in a way where we show each other the amount of respect, respect that we deserve within the language itself. You know, what other, what kind of like flowery, you know, words can you use to be able to express something yeah. and talk to you? You know, yeah. because that is really cool. Um, but beyond that, I think that people and human beings are more complicated, and we communicate on such um, a deeper level than just, you know, words that, that state the obvious, yeah. that are always, you know, oh, we're out in the club, we're having fun, yeah. we're drinking crystal, <laughs> with hot on the tables, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, like, I could walk into the room, mm -hmm. and I could be really happy, and then you would feel that. Yeah. I could walk in the room and not say anything, and be extremely upset, depressed, and you would be able to sense that right away without me even saying a word to you. Very true. So I wanted to write, lyrics that express the feelings that we go through. Um, what does darkness feel like? What does uh, being depressed feel like? What is wanting to disappear? What does that feel like? And how can I write that into an imagery rather than... into an imagery that tells a story rather than blatantly 
just telling the story. Yeah. You know, so I worked with that a lot, and, and I go through themes. And for Numa, I was going through um, the theme of love stories. Yeah. And I wrote a story about uh, Nikola Tesla, who was a man in love with invention and uh, and creating things. And I wrote a love story about a man and a woman who fall in love, but it's a destructive love and they end up um, killing each other. And yeah. Kind of like a Romeo and Juliet, but a little bit more like serious, you know. Um, or I wrote a love story for myself. And I think that everybody deserves that one. Yeah. You know? What's that love story called? That one is called It's When the Hourglass is That's my favorite <laughs> song. Oh my god, I knew it. Like, <laughs> That is my absolute favorite song. Um, not that all, all of them are really good, but when the hourglass comes on, like, I just, it melted my heart. You sounded vulnerable, you sounded beautiful, and um, even reading the lyrics, like I said, they go so deep in, they're not something that's so common that everyone knows about. I had to Google the word in this song, because I'm like, What's that song? What's that word mean? It's the uh, tumultuous. Tumultuous, yeah. Like it was something which is really good. I think that we need because it was just beautiful. It was such a a beautiful, beautiful song. I think everyone should have that kind of record on their album. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. like it. Perfect. And um, what is your goal with Galaxy Guitar? I really want to write, I don't think Elias has, is on the same plane with me about this, that we just want to write new music that is almost like candy to your ear, something yeah. interesting to listen to. You know, where people are so intelligent and I think that we deserve intelligent music to listen to and, yeah. you know, and intelligent lyrics <laughs> and something that transcends like the superficial and kind of like hits home. Yeah. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to write a lot a lot of music. Perfect. And um, do you think the world we all know is so close minded, um, about a lot of different things. Um, they think um, that if you are a model you're only supposed to model. If you're a singer you're only supposed to sing. Do you think that the world would accept Naima as a singer or as America's Next Top Model? Uh, I think that people will accept me as a singer as well as a vocalist. Um, it goes back to what I was telling you before, why do people like me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I think people like me for me and this is part of who I am, so. You know, even if they don't like my music, it's what I'm gonna do, and people have to kind of accept it regardless. You know, because I'm gonna do it. I have um, a good friend of mine. She heard that I was going to interview you, and she flipped out when I told her that I was <laughs> coming to interview you. She blushed, literally. Oh, that's like, so good. <laughs> she started blushing, and she was so excited that I was coming to talk to you. And once again, she's like, "Oh my gosh, she's my favorite." She's um, she knows about all currently what you're doing because she follows you and um, I thought it was great um, that she get an opportunity to ask a question to you because she is such a big fan of yours and she can't be here today but I can still ask a question for her um, what's her name? her name is Stephanie Frosch hi Stephanie <laughs> <laughs> and she wanted to ask about your band, Galaxy of Tar. If two bands were to have a baby and the result was your band, 
Oh, which bands? <laughs> which bands would would be the parents? That's not fair. <laughs> oh, um, jeez. Um, well, hmm, I think it would be Tool uh -huh. and Bjork. Who's the mom and who's the dad? Bjork's the mom. Okay. Dad, the dad is Tool. <laughs> the dad's Maynard. <laughs> the dad's Tool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and relationships. Is Naima single or oh. is she involved? <laughs> this one love no, um, <laughs> um what I had a publicist a few years back and she said never tell people that you are involved, but I I have a boyfriend. Why wouldn't I say <laughs> that? Um, I love my boyfriend dearly and we have been together for about uh, four years now. Very good. See, love works. <laughs> love works. I think with um, respect and honesty and communication. Does it work out for you now that you're doing music and you know you're still doing your modeling? You were last week, week and a half doing Fashion Week on the runway. You're still modeling. Does it seem to work out fine with you? Or? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? My relationship? Yeah, your relationship. Oh, um, yeah. He's very supportive of everything that I do. That's good. And he encourages me to work really hard and be artistic. And he challenges me a lot. And it's yeah. a really good relationship. I love him very much. Good. All right. Well, thank you for uh, being my guest. And um, it was such a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>